everybody welcome once again on my channel krishna singh deo today we are meeting here for class 12 student and students let me tell you one thing as for the request of few of the students who wanted the videos in complete english the last video and this video both are completely in english if you feel that this is going to help you more the coming videos will be in english only and if you are the one who is not finding it comfortable then do write in in the comment box then we will work on it and the videos will come in both the languages or in the mixed language today we are meeting here for goodwill valuation of goodwill chapter is going on from last couple of days and we have till now completed lot of methods including super profit method now we have reached to the last part of this chapter and we are going to do what is the capitalization method today so let's understand what is capitalization method to find out goodwill by capitalization method we will have to understand one thing first of all under capitalization method there are two methods inside this means there are two sub categories so under capitalized value of goodwill or capitalization method i'm so sorry i have to write here capitalization method so under capitalization method you have capitalization of average profit and the second one is capitalization of super profit so when i say capitalization of average profit let's understand this how do we calculate value of goodwill step number 1 step number 1 is going to be same as we did at the time of calculation of goodwill by average profit method we will find average profit so we are going to find average profit how do we find out average profit we total the profit of couple of years and divided by the total number of years and that's how we find average profit if there is any abnormality that abnormality has to be taken care means any kind of abnormal loss will be added back and any kind of abnormal profit is going to be deducted then your step number 2 is going to be capitalized value of business now what is the meaning of this capitalized value of business capitalized value of business let me write first capitalized value of business the formula of it is average profit into 100 divided by nrr what is this means we are finding out that if this profit has to be earned what would have been the capital employed we have seen in super profit method that super profit means what amount we are earning extra than the normal rate of return means if our business is earning extra it is earning because of the goodwill here in this method we are doing the reverse of it we are saying see our business is earning this much of profit i believe for earning this much of profit what should have been the capital investment that we are trying to figure out so for this kind of capital investment what should have been the capital employed that we will find out by multiplying average profit by reverse of normal rate of return yes if normal rate of return is given in the question we will just reverse that ratio for example that ratio is 10% so you will keep the denominator on the top at the place of numerator and at the place of denominator you will keep numerator for example this percent is 10% so you will write 100 or at the place of denominator in a numerator and 10 in the place of denominator this way what you get is capitalized value of business then step number 3 will be followed step number 3 is finding out the net asset what is net asset it is quite similar to the capital employed what we did in super profit method here we do one thing we take all the total assets of the firm and from these total assets what is being deducted from these total assets we do deduct 
any existing goodwill it will be deducted and as well as any kind of fictitious assets will be deducted so till here we have finished all three steps but we haven't found goodwill yet let me recap fast what are we doing over here we are finding out value of goodwill by capitalized method capitalization of average profit first step is going to be finding out average profit second step is finding out capitalized value of business how do we find out capitalized value of business we take average profit found in first step multiply it by reciprocal of normal rate of return in step number three we find out what is net asset now step number four is going to be finding out what is goodwill so here the goodwill is going to be goodwill is equal to your capitalized value of business that we are going to deduct from the net asset what we have got so in step number two what we have got capitalized value of business minus net assets i hope you understood this method students now let's understand how do we find out goodwill by capitalization of super profit?